Hi everybody, welcome you all in this tutorial. Today we will work on add event listener on JavaScript. You know, we can work with also events. Okay, so what is the difference between events and add event listener? Actually, whenever we will uh, want to integrate multiple events into a single element in JavaScript, we must have to use add event listener. Okay, and for only one event, we can use on uh, on click uh, uh, events or on mouse over etc et as, as we want okay so let's see the actual meaning or uh, actual topics of today i am opening my uh, visual studio code as you can see this is my index.html and i have included this st.css here uh, i have uh, indicated this using this link and uh, i index.zx uh, source uh, link up here as you can see and as you can see i have uh, one paragraph and two button okay and these are given to class bt okay now let's check our output uh, after saving this if i open this using open live server okay as you can see i have two button and whenever i am clicking on this button nothing happened and as you can see i have one program but i want to add some events to, uh, of these buttons to add css uh, in this paragraph or remove css okay let's see how can we work how can we accomplish this okay this is my index.js so to do so we have to first select our buttons okay so how we can select this let me define a variable and in this variable i would like to store the selected element okay then you know you guys know how we can select i explained also in my previous uh, tutorials document dot qd selector i will use okay query selector all and all will select all the elements of a class and then here i must have to use a dot to select my all button okay as you know i have given this button class as bt so and now i have selected all this button here okay so first work with uh, one single button suppose i am selecting a single button uh, button norm zero and then what will we do we will add a add a event listener add a event listener okay this is a event listener and the syntax is we must have to use the double quotation and in between double quotation we have to click the event click and using a comma we have to we can use there a anonymous or, or that means a, a nameless function or a named function okay i am using a uh, first I, I i am using anonymous function that means function okay okay this is my function and here i will give a alert okay initially i will like to give a alert let me check is it working or not hi let me check is it working or not and i'd like to use the comma okay if i save this let me check it is working or not if i click on this okay it is working so finally i have selected this button add css here and now we'll work on this paragraph and then we can we can do also this this piece of work we can do with the name function uh, let me show this here i have to define a function and i don't need to use any first bracket here okay i i don't need to use any first bracket here and here regularly how we do this we, we, we will define a function here my and in this my function i will give a give this alert okay i will give this a lot hi there T -S -E -R -E there and this is how we can do the same task here as you can see if i save this and if i go on my window as you can see it is working also so this is uh, there are this is, there are a lot of uh, way to do and uh, to play with the name and uh, named function and anonymous function and then suppose uh, i would like to add a css with my uh with my paragraph so to 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 do so to do so i have to uh first i have to define i have to select my um paragraph here okay to do so i will uh, work with query selector query selector and not all actually i have only one paragraph so i will select my query as it is a um id so i will use hash here okay and then i will add my css class okay how uh, you guys know how to add css class uh, 
class list i have to use class list ঠিক আছে a l i s t list class list dot add and then i will add my class this is called what is the class of my css b t t okay b t t let us check it is working either it is work will or not okay i have to write that document document okay and then there is no need to have any variable right now okay i think this should work control save if i save this and if i go on my window it okay it is working i have successfully added a um uh, style to my paragraph okay using add event listener okay and then if we want to um work with multiple buttons as you can see we have two buttons then what will we can do uh, we have to we have we can write a we can we can we can we can play with a for loop okay let us play uh, let us play with the for loop so i'd like to have the, uh, the length of my uh, of my total buttons here as i have two two button and i can use i can use a for loop okay for var i is equal to 0 comma i less than i less than a okay and i plus plus i think this is the right syntax okay and then in the follow i have to add the events or the class i would like to, uh, i i would like to show let me show this var var t is equal to i like to show this dot in in our html okay is ml and then i'd like to show i would like to show document dot right document dot right here t plus is clicked okay and let me okay if i save this let me go on my undefined click undefined click why this is showing me actually I, I i didn't define any i didn't add any even listener okay so to, to add even listener i have to i have to select first var b var b dot query selector all dot bt and here okay bt and here i will use the serial i okay and dot hmm, add event listener event li st listener okay even listener what event click click it will automatically run a function function anonymous function as you know as you guys know okay 
And here in this function, I'll perform this piece of work. Okay. 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 I think this is done. After saving this. Okay. Okay. Now this should work. There is no need to any. There is no no need any variable. Document. Document that query selector bt. Okay. If I save this, let me go on my window. If I click on this, at CSS is clicked. If I click on this, remove CSS is clicked. Okay. And then I would like to sense. Uh, I'd like to sense the value of uh, of my paragraph okay oh uh, no problem if i if i click this if i make this button one and here button control z button two to save if I go on here we click on this button one is clicked and here we can see button two is clicked so we have integrated multiple event in a, 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 a multiple event using add even listener okay now if I want to okay if I want to change this paragraph uh, uh, inner HTML then we can do also but in this tutorial i will uh, not do anything now okay thank you for to, uh, this tutorial we will see uh, next in the next tutorial something some uh, other properties of our javascript thank you all today